Hello and welcome to ECNM Ask, a Q&A video series brought to you by ECNM Magazine and found on the uh, member section only of our website, in which readers pose their most pressing electrical questions and our subject matter experts answer them. My name is Don Kuyper. I'm president of Estimating 101, and I provide training for electrical contractors and estimating and project management. And so today's question, I've been asked this question many times, is what do I think of third-party estimating services? And so the first thing when I hear this question asked by a contractor, my immediate thought is they do not have enough qualified skilled estimators and or their workload is so enormous that they just don't have enough manpower to estimate all of these projects that they have on their plate. So the first consideration that I think is very important in using a third party estimating service is, is this what I need to supplement my workload? Or would this be what my company would be almost 100% dependent upon in producing estimates for my company? So that's the first consideration. The second consideration would be, would be the third party's track record. I would do my due diligence to research and try to get references and people that have used this third party. And because there is nothing more important, I believe, in an electrical contractor's office than quality, accurate, detailed estimating. Contracting is three simple steps. Get work, do the work, and make money. If that be true, then quality contracting starts with quality estimating. You must have an accurate estimate in detail for the project conditions and according to the specifications in order to be a profitable company. And so estimating is very, very important that it be accurate as possible. The third consideration that I would consider in using a third party estimating service would be if this project was for an existing client. For example, if I had a quality client that I did all of their work in their plan or their facility, I'd be very careful about turning over an estimate of my quality client to a third party source that may not give me an exact accurate detailed estimate that I can serve my client the best. There's an old saying, if you don't take care of your customers, somebody else will. Now, if I'm bidding in an open plan and spec in a public market and municipal work for say a state or a county or a city, um, that may be a little different. But when I have key clients that I'm taking care of and I take care of all of their electrical work, I would be very careful about outsourcing that estimate to a third party source. The fourth consideration that I would consider would be the third party estimate, making sure that they do a complete specification review in order to quantify the takeoff. Or you could exclude that from their scope of work and have them just do the counting and the measuring and the estimating of the drawings. And then you do your own spec review and do your own analysis of the spec and the schedule and the phasing and the completion date and all of these things that are very vital in estimating. So you would have to determine to see what portion of the estimate you're gonna allow them to do and uh, make your decision there. There's a fifth consideration that I would consider would be the type of project. I would be very, very cautious about outsourcing an estimate to a third party if there were significant labor risk involved in the project. I would want to have my eyes on that, that project to fully understand what the schedule is, what the manpower would be, what the crew size would be, my supervision. And so when you have a project that has very intense labor and there are so many factors that could influence that labor to be impacted negatively, I'd be very careful about taking a complex project that someone in a third party office may not fully understand. Sixth consideration that I would consider would be what type of estimating software they used. If they use the very same software that your company uses, that's an added bonus because now they can perform the estimate in the software. And typically estimating software allows you to make a backup file and they could email you that project in a digital format that you could then restore to your computer in your office 
and it would be just like that estimate was performed in your office. And so if they're using the same software that you use, that could be an added bonus. And I think if you check with some of these estimating third-party services, I think most of them can perform the estimate in whatever software you use. But that's something you would have to research to determine for yourself. And so if you're the successful low bidder and they use the software, then you'll be able to produce these reports and have it all organized. And there'll be an added bonus in using a third-party service. Though I've never used a third-party service as an estimator when I was estimating manager and our chief estimator, I am convinced and sure there must be and has to be some quality estimating firms that can provide you with a quality estimate to help you bid work that you need to bid to try to be successful. Well, in order to keep these videos short and sweet, it looks like that's all the time we have for today. And so thank you for joining us today. ECNM Ask is a part of ECNL Magazine, which is a part of the portfolio of Endeavor Business Media Publications. So you stay tuned for the next episode and we'll answer another question for you about estimating. Thank you.